So you're a local business owner and there are three major factors that are going to keep your business afloat in the coming months ahead. What are those three factors? One is to do with your website's speed. Secondly, is to do with whether or not your website is mobile friendly. And thirdly, it's to do with your tactics, your marketing when it comes to local SEO. Now on the third note of local SEO, of course, Google My Business is very much the thing that most people are using. And if you're familiar with my channel, if you've subscribed in the past, you'll know that we often focus on Google My Business if you want to improve your rankings in Google. But what about the other two things? What about speed of your website, loading speed, and making it mobile friendly? Well, today's video is going to focus on those two areas too that often we overlook, but Google will reward you for having a fast loading website and particularly for making it mobile friendly. And with just one plugin, if you're a WordPress owner, with just one plugin, you can conquer having a mobile friendly website and loading as fast as you possibly like or want. So that's what we're going to look at in today's video. A fast loading website, mobile friendly. Welcome to my video. So I'm Zane from Zanuck Design and I help businesses grow on the internet. So as I learn and as I progress to increase my business, I also share the things I'm learning with you. So as a web designer of 20 years, I'm always learning. And at the same time, I'm always growing the business. And so I want you to benefit from the things that I'm learning as I share these things with you. So you may have heard of AMP, which stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. And this was devised by Google and Twitter a few years back, in fact, around about 2016. The idea was, was could they make it so you cut down all of the things like styles, designs, JavaScript, and just render the information, the image, the video in basic H1s, H2s, H3s, paragraphs, and images. And between them, they've devised this. And so Google now is rewarding businesses that have the cut down version or the AMP page enabled. So I'm going to show you a bit more about why it's important, how it works and how you can make it so it works on your website straight away. Now, Neil Patel, who's known for marketing, suggests that you have this. And the reason why I think people are taking it more seriously is that the search console, the Google search console now shows information and also spiders it and then says what's wrong as well. And we're gonna even see if you've got some problems when it spiders your AMP pages, there's a simple plugin that's gonna fix those issues too, which I found only this week. So hopefully you're going to find this a useful and helpful tutorial. So follow along as I jump straight in now. So these three major factors that are gonna help grow your business. One we mentioned was mobile design. And of course, if you want to go from a, a design that's non-mobile to mobile, then web designers can do this. This is something that web designers have specialized in the last few years. But that's one thing then that you could look at. The second thing we mentioned was the speed as well. So increasing your speed, particularly Google has now for 2020, 2021, is improving in how it ranks you when it comes to speed. So things like page speed insights getting 99, or 100 is going to make a massive difference to how you rank in Google for your business. But you'll notice, for example, last year I was only ranking 20 on a mobile. And then I looked at a video that showed how to get to 99 pretty quickly, which was using this video, ludicrous speed. And there's another way to do that now. So you could use Nitro, which is uh, this video will show you about. Again, I'll leave the reference to this video and this page, as well as the mobile friendly one that we've just referenced a moment ago. I'll leave them for you to look at if you want to go about it that way. And the third area is really to just make sure that your local search optimization is up to scratch. And as you're well know, and probably if you're already subscribing with me, you'll know that we've got solutions through lots of YouTube videos. So beginners, intermediates, advanced and experts whether or not you're into Google My Business and you've just started out 
or whether you're up to scratch and you're really an expert in Google My Business, there are many things that you can do to improve. So there's four videos here. Again, I'll leave the link below. And with each video, if you then want to go into um, uh, several other videos that will help you, depending on whether you're a beginner or an expert, it will take you through. So you link through and then you can see all these other things you could do. So for example, some SEO tips to attract customers, how to increase your reviews, all these things can be uh, covered and that's uh, the video for beginners. Whereas uh, again, if you click these here, it'll take you through to other playlists on YouTube as well. So that's how you could have done it for 2020. But we're talking about a new way to do particularly the plugin um, if you've got a WordPress website, then this is a plugin that's going to solve your mobile issues and your page speed issues in almost one click. So let's have a look at that then. So let's ask the question, what actually is AMP? Well, AMP is stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. And AMP really is proof that Google wants to focus on users. And as you can see here from the AMP plugin and also from the AMP website from Google themselves, I think they worked with Twitter to produce this. And they've been producing this, really this AMP from 2016. So these Accelerated Mobile Pages tick two of those three things we mentioned. They tick page speed because they're accelerated. They tick mobile because they are designed for mobile. So you can see how does it work? Well, it shows really that it works in the sense of it just caches these pages so that they load even faster. And these pages are quite simple pages. So let me give you an example. If I go to uh, my website, so here's uh, a article I wrote just yesterday. It got releases, it's got videos, it's got images, it's also got uh, a sidebar as well with quite a few links. And what does an AMP page do? Well, it makes a slim down version of this. If I click on view AMP version of that page, and you notice, there you go, so it's much more, so it just references the website itself, the home page. It's much more simple. There's very little style. Um, the videos are still there. But there's no sidebar as well. The images are still there and so on. So you can see that it's a simplified version. There's not really the, the, the bells and whistles. But what that means, it means it can serve it up to slow mobiles and slow networks. And it means it will load a lot faster than an old uh, desktop website or even some of the most uh, optimized mobile websites can still have quite a lot of style sheets and JavaScript that needs to load. So this is a really cut down version of the web page. So you may ask, well, how's that actually going to make my business improve? And the reason is, is because it basically cuts back the bounce rate. So when someone visits your website, if it loads within a second, people instantly get a feeling that they've hit your website and now they then want to start reading it. And so they haven't been waiting around for it to load. They've not been waiting with server issues. It shows on their mobile as well really quickly. And also Google's rewarding speed. It's rewarding mobile friendly. In fact, it views everything as if it's on a mobile. Here's an example. This is, um, so I just typed in uh, Donald Trump and you notice these are the latest uh, news items coming up uh, as as if I was on a mobile and you just notice see that little symbol there with the zigzag or the the lightning or the lightning there as well if I go through here and there these are AMP pages so these are not your normal mobile page or your normal desktop but you notice Google is serving up pretty much on every news item here the AMP page equivalent and if I go down here let's see if there's anything else nothing there uh, that's AMP page on the Telegraph on the BBC so the next question is, how do you add AMP? And it's so easy, it's just a case of adding a plugin. So you notice here, I've got the plugin that's enabled on my website. And what that's done is it just means if I put forward slash AMP at the end of any web page that's been spidered, uh, then it will produce a cut down version that will then go to Google. Google then spiders it, caches it, and serves it up as fast as it possibly can. And so that's how they work. So I'm going to take you into my website and I'll just show you here then. So the AMP configuration uh, and settings, it's just a case of if you go to uh, your plugins, search for AMP and then just download the plugin and then you get a wizard and you can choose whether you want a standard installation, transitional or reader. And reader is pretty much the straightforward way. And once you've then got it to, to just be enabled, you just click that. And then you can choose whether you want to use your mobile version that perhaps you've already got with your theme 
or you can just use the AMP version as a cut down version and serve that up to every mobile visitor. And that will again give you, enhance you by giving you a very fast loading mobile version of your website. So that's something worth considering. Now, I used this just a month ago. Neil Patel mentioned about using AMP and the advantages of it. So I tried it, I put it on here and I enabled it. But what I did find was when I then did a, a search uh, console, so let's just go to that, on search console you notice here that it now comes up with amp so this started to be found and i then got all these problems all these errors that came up probably about a few weeks in so and it got worse so it started off where there's a, a few errors and i kind of thought well maybe it's just still spidering it then it got worse and then it got to the point where we had 130 uh, errors on my web pages and i was like well that's um that's kind of not what i was expecting and the reason was, was actually most of these issues um, still need to be resolved if you just go for the standard installation. So I then found there was another plugin that you need as well. So when you've installed the AMP one from Google, uh, there's, uh, so that's the AMP for WordPress by Google. There's also this one that I want to recommend. And you notice that my search consoles now, just a few days ago, I asked it to be spidered and immediately, if I put on my, my valid ones, you notice that all my valid pages are now coming back as it's beginning to spider through. And that's now saying it's looking good, looking good, looking good. Just a couple of other things, references. Just six pages, in fact, that I need to resolve now because all these are looking good and they're passing and they'll all be valid within the next month or so. So what it was, was I just needed to, to not only have the AMP for WordPress, but also to go for this one here, which is called Get Ready for Mobile First World the AMP plugin. And what this does is it just helps to fix those issues. So whatever those issues were, I just downloaded this as well and run the two side by side and now all my AMP issues are also disappearing as the two work together. So I just wanted to share that with you as well. That If you want to accelerate your website, you want to accelerate and go mobile friendly, and you want to get the fastest caching with Google and get improved ranking with Google, which is in effect what this will do because I'm AMP friendly, then that's the way to go. If you want to improve your traffic, then use this AMP and hopefully you'll see some benefits that come as you get served up on more pages uh, that are mobile friendly in the coming months ahead. Now, if you want to know more about these as well, these videos here, I'm gonna put a couple of links for you to follow me over to there. I'm gonna put one for uh, beginners and I'll put one for experts. So choose which one wisely and I'll see you there.